This is a time like no other, a time when we are conflicted with hope and worry, where the world is on the cusp of a monumental change yet has been stuck in the cycle of a global pandemic. But this is a time of celebration and pride looking back over your accomplishments. We are in a time of celebrating you and what you will contribute to the world. Today is your day. Today is a culmination of years of hard work. Today is your graduation day. And while things are not the same as they once were and our traditions recreated anew, it is all done to celebrate you. Welcome to your 2021 Virtual Convocation Celebration. We're here to acknowledge and celebrate your hard work, your dedication, and all of your accomplishments. And we do so in the spirit of thanksgiving. Wat kunualado, Santi Smith, Dagalunyakwa, Nyungnyas, Gongwehoi, Gayangehaga, Se Watohosios, Ga Nagaliwesa, Ne Ona, Angelio Heste, Ne Ganawala Donsula. The purpose of the words of thanksgiving, the Ohandu Galiwadeguan, is to unite our mind and heart, to acknowledge, give thanks, affirm interconnections cultivate compassion and kindness, and to recognize the human responsibility for sustaining and living in balance and peace with all creation in all of our relations. Now our minds are one. It's important at this time to acknowledge people who are struggling, who are hurting. Let these words offer serenity to their mind and heart. We give thanks to all people, our ancestors, our family and friends. Now our minds are one. Dayetilu wenado ne yatini stoha johunjade. Eto nayontohoge ne nguatnigula. We give thanks to our Mother Earth, for she provides us with everything that we need to survive and thrive. Now our minds are one. Dayetini wolado ne gane galunyo. Eto nayontohoge ne nguatnigula. We give thanks to the waters, from the oceans to the streams, to the waters flowing in our body. Water is life. Now our minds are one. Daiti nuwalaro ne gonjung sua. Eto nayontohage ne naguat nigula. We give greetings and thanks to the fish who help to purify the water and provide us with nourishment. Now our minds are one. Daiti nuwalaro ne. Yotunduni, eto nayontohage ne nagua nigula. We give thanks to the plants, from the grasses to the sacred medicines that help to purify and strengthen our body and our mind. Now our minds are one. Daiti nuwalaro ne odzit no wasu'a, eto nayontohage ne nagua nigula. We give thanks and greetings to the insects who help to pollinate the plants and teach us how to live in balance with all creation. Now our minds are one. Daiti nuwalaro ne jon hekwa eto nayontohage ne nguatnigula. We give thanks to our sustenance foods, to the three sisters, corn, beans, and squash. Now our minds are one. Daiti nuwalaro ne wa ya niunta Eto nayontohoge ne nguat nigula. We give thanks to the fruit who help to nourish our body. Now our minds are one. Daiti nuwalaro ne gondirion. Eto nayontohoge ne nguat nigula. We give greetings and thanks to all of the animals who sacrifice their lives to help sustain us and teach us to live in balance. Now our minds are one. Daiti nuwalaro ne 
dit dans un goût, hein. Et ton n'ayant ton hange, ne ne goût ne goût là. We give thanks to the birds whose beautiful song help to uplift our spirit and bring peace and calm to our hearts. Now our minds are one. Daiti ni walaro ne galunda ongu a. Eto na yonto hange ne na gua ni gua. We give thanks to the trees. We cannot live without the oxygen that they provide. Their roots and sap provide nourishment and cleansing for our body. Now our minds are one. Daiti ni walaro ne zower la wunyer. Eto na yonto hange ne na gua ni gua. We give thanks and greetings to the circulating winds who travel the earth bringing new life and breath. Now our minds are one. Daiti ni walaro ne la di werlas eto na yonto hoge ne na gua ni guna. We give our greetings to the grandfather thunderers for purifying the air and awakening the earth. Now our minds are one. Daiti ni walaro ne anjonge ni galakwa Eto na yonto hoge ne na gua ni guna. We give thanks to our eldest brother Sun, who appears each morning to provide sunshine, protection, and sustenance for all living things. Now our minds are one. Daiti ni walaro ne asata ne kwa wa nirele. Eto na yonto hoge ne na gua ni guna. We give our greetings and thanks to Grandmother Moon. For her powerful pull on our waters and connection to women and birth, now our minds are one. Daiti ni walaro ne yo gisto warlunyo eto na yonto hoge ne na gua ni gula. We give thanks to the stars and the cosmos for providing us with guidance and direction. Now our minds are one. Daiti ni walaro ne dayon kiyado eto na yonto hoge ne na gua ni gula. We give thanks to our protectors, our spiritual guardians who provide clarity of mind and peace in our hearts. Now our minds are one. Dazi dawanuwalaro ne sungwayandiso, eto na yonto hage ne nguat nigula. We give thanks and greetings to creation, to the great spirit, to the great mystery, and the creative energy that lives in everywhere and in everything. Now our minds are one. Da eto. Niyawanage da eto. The Thanksgiving address is a daily affirmation which places humanity in context to the immensity of the living universe and affirms the responsibility of human beings to be humble stewards of the natural world and to always demonstrate gratitude. I am thankful to be here with you today and to share these words before all else. Niyawe. Thank you. As you embark on a new chapter in your life, a life as a McMaster graduate, we have been reflecting on what being a Mac grad means to us. As your provost, it means so much. To me, a Mac grad is full of innovative and life-changing ideas that will have an impact on our local communities and reach the corners of the globe. Congratulations and good luck. To me, a Mac grad is ready for anything. You're empowered with critical thinking and inquiry-based learning. You're ready for the challenges you'll face, and being a Mac grad means you'll face them head on. To me, a Mac grad can see the inner workings of the world around them, and how people and nature can coexist in harmony. That you'll rise to the challenge to restore the damage facing our global environment. To me, a Mac grad is determined, determined to try new ways of thinking, determined to make mistakes and learn from them, and determined to inspire those at home and at work. Warm congratulations to our 2021 McMaster University graduates. You're our newest Mac grads. Now let's officially welcome you into our community of scholars.
Madam Chancellor, on behalf of the McMaster University Senate, I present to you these candidates in absentia in order that you may confer the appropriate degrees upon them and I bear witness that they are worthy and suitable. Graduands, by my authority and that of the McMaster University Senate, I have the great pleasure to admit those in absentia to their individual degrees at McMaster University with all the rights and privileges pertaining to those degrees. My sincere congratulations to you all. Yo Yanale.
continue the celebrations with messages from your Dean and Valedictorian. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Your Dean and faculty celebrate you. It is my privilege on behalf of the faculty and staff of the Faculty of Health Sciences to offer you our warmest congratulations both to you and all members of the graduating class of 2021 on reaching such an important milestone in your life. The degree you are receiving today from McMaster University is of course the result of your commitment to years of study and your openness to embrace new ideas and perspectives. Your career in health sciences will bring you wonderful opportunities and immense joy and satisfaction, whether it is the result of involvement in patient care, in biomedical sciences, or in the administration of the healthcare system. There is no greater privilege than having the responsibility to care for the sick and for those who need help, to mitigate the burden of disease, and to help eliminate the cause of illness. Convocation is an opportunity for you to be recognized for your wonderful accomplishments and to have the chance to have family and friends celebrate with you. This SARS-CoV pandemic is of course an unprecedented event in our lifetimes and has unfortunately also resulted in Convocation being less of a community celebration to recognize your success. The situation this year has, however, also given you a unique opportunity to develop more resilience, to be more innovative, and to learn in more flexible ways. Thank you for your many contributions while you were here at McMaster University, and thank you in advance for the many accomplishments that we know lie ahead of you. From everyone in the Faculty of Health Sciences, very many congratulations, and we wish you all the very best in the years ahead. Next, you will enjoy the enthusiasm and energy from your own valedictorian. I congratulate them alongside the entire class of 2021. Good afternoon, everyone. It's an honor to be speaking to you today, and even more so knowing that we just braved one of the toughest school years in history. I have to admit that a year ago, the sense of loss was hitting hard, but after witnessing the ways in which you went above and beyond to uplift each other in this final stretch, I am only grateful and privileged to know you. What got us through was each other, and taking 830s from our beds definitely didn't hurt. This experience of coming out stronger through adversity takes me back to walking into McMaster for the first time. As many of you, I was very apprehensive. In senior year, I had lost my 13-year-old sister, and I felt very defeated. I convinced myself that university was only a place for people stronger than me and smarter than me. I know that many of you were on a similar boat. Am I glad about how wrong I turned out to be? I learned that our community here has this incredible way of bringing out the most radiant parts of us and giving them a warm home. I share this with you because I know that you all have testaments to your growth through the hurdles that you've had to conquer. I want you to think back to these last few years and just know that there are so many people who are in awe of the person that you've become, not despite your obstacles, but because of them. You showed me that it's okay to be vulnerable and that we are a force when we show up for each other. And even when the grand speeches are over and the balloons wilt, that is what we will take with us. In the Faculty of Health Sciences, our programs and paths are varied, and so are our ways forward. And I may be uncertain about all these different futures, but I am certain that the tenacity and kindness that you brought to our faculty will flourish on and carry you through the hard times. So this one is for the laughs we shared in the HSL Quiet Zone, for the long hours in Anatomy Lab, for that feeling after our group presentations. This one is for our families, our friends, our loved ones who knew we would make it through even when we didn't think we could. For our educators who taught us that health begins with us taking care of each other and then expanding that outwards. As a great poet of our time said, started from the bottom, now we here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. And class of 2021, am I so lucky to have made it here with you. Thank you, go celebrate, go change the world, and I'll see you down the road. This concludes your virtual spring 2021 convocation ceremony. Please visit registrar.mcmaster.ca forward slash convocation 2021 to continue your celebrations. 
from all of us. Congratulations and welcome to our community of McMaster Scholars.